in the quietude of ink and parchment, where dreams and words entwine, an epoch has unfolded my book, it has arrived. A tale often told in silver screens, of authors cradling their heart-bound offspring, their joy and pride vivid as daybreak. Yet, for me, the euphoria did not cascade. Never did I dance in the daylight of ambition to be a writer, yet my pen has traced countless tales. Its journey was one of obligation or discovery an assignment, a dissertation, or the quiet narrative of scientific exploration. Yet, every tale inked, every triumph fetched on paper, calls for celebration, a momentary pause to honor the journey before pressing forward. And onward I march, with the past tucked neatly behind. No longer is my mind occupied by the second chapter of this saga. Instead, I'm weaving the tapestry of the third, the final testament in this series. Perhaps when the words that fill the pages echo my personal symphony, my heart will sing a different song. But for now, as the world reckons, I stand tall as a published author. Tonight, under the silver gaze of the moon, I shall celebrate this milestone. My feast will be one of caviar, the delight of kings, shared in the company of those I hold dear. And for Kobe, a feast of ribs, for we all deserve to rejoice in our own tongue. An epoch, indeed, has unfolded here begins the chronicle of the published author. Christopher Sala